notice that when you go to the vet or during traveling or perhaps even taking your dog to the groomer that your dog seems to be shedding more? It's not just your imagination, your backseat and probably your clothes are actually covered in more fur than usual. So what gives? Why does this happen? During stressful events, sometimes you might see things like panting or yawning or maybe even some drooling, but stress shedding is actually among some of the most common first signs of stress. Now, depending on how much anxiety your particular pup tends to have, fireworks and thunderstorms can create this reaction and possibly new environments like a training class or meeting new people there might bring on some excessive coat blowing but also and i have experienced this firsthand some dogs who are rather new to the grooming experience might also shed more than you would like and this even happens after a de-shedding treatment so the very thing that you are actually trying to treat. So I do typically like to inform clients that it should calm down once they're home and they're comfortable, but to give it about 24 hours to really notice the difference, since some dogs do actually have a longer cool off period for stress. So to break it down, anywhere that your pup feels kind of out of their element, let's say, for whatever the reason is, you're likely going to see more fur flying. So let's get into what causes it first and then what you can do to help reduce it so that you don't end up covered in fur each time you need to make a trip to the vets or to the groomers. It's just gonna save you a whole lot of those sticky tapes. So let's get technical for a minute. When your dog feels stressed, their bodies create more of a stress hormone called epinephrine which is essentially a fancy way of saying their adrenaline peaks. There has been some speculation that perhaps it may be a natural defense mechanism, which typically is to elude predators' grasps, which makes it easier for them to escape. So they might actually be trying to make a run from your vet, but at this exact moment, it's actually unclear why the increase in epinephrine causes excessive shedding but we just know that it does. So just like humans, dogs can experience stress in acute events, such as when they are traveling, or as I mentioned, an appointment with their vet or their groomer, or they experience more chronic-based stress, which can be from big life changes, such as adding new pets, or kids, or a family member may move into your house or something like that. Maybe you move entirely to a new house and some may experience anxiety actually daily when you go to work with what's called separation anxiety. You might even have a happy, well-conditioned dog who you might notice an increase in shedding during a car ride since they actually might be unsure of which place they're going to. Maybe it's a park, maybe it's the groomer, maybe it's the vet. So they're not quite sure and shedding actually might be the only sign that you see when this does happen. So it's possible that you don't even actually pick up that your dog is experiencing anxiety. So here is what you can do for the dog. So to state the obvious, you can't prevent them from the hormonal changes that occur entirely. It's just not gonna happen. But you can reduce or minimize stressful events, which helps in turn to minimize the hair that ends up everywhere and obviously helps pets feel generally better about their current situation. So a really great tool that I've used on my own dog who does have a lot of anxiety is what's called a thunder jacket. It's a vest that helps them kind of feel like they're being hugged essentially, but in a good way. The good thing about this is that it also prevents the hair from being released into the environment and stays mostly on the jacket itself. So in terms of picking up a dog from a groomer, let's say, or maybe your vet, you can put it on and bring them home. And once they're home and they're settled and they're happy again, that's when you can remove it and throw it right into the washing machine. And at this point, your pet should be in a much better state and your floors will stay clean a whole lot longer. Of course, there are natural remedies and medications as well that you can obtain from your vet that prevent more chronic cases of anxiety. 
And in case you are currently dealing with a life change or more generalized anxiety to help them cope in this period of time, either of those options can be great, but I would discuss with your vet. But if, for example, the stress is acute and it tends to be brought on by the grooming process, counter conditioning will go a long way in reducing overall stress. The more repetitive and positive the event is and becomes kind of just a part of their normal reoccurring life, in a healthy way, the more likely this will reduce stress since unknowns to the dog will become less frequent. This applies to anything, the vet, traveling, I'll tell you the dog who I mentioned earlier who wears the thunder jacket, she has absolutely terrible car anxiety and car sickness because of it. We have taken shorter trips in the beginning, working our way up to longer trips. In fact, just this summer, we went on a nearly eight hour car trip and she didn't puke, which was an absolute miracle and a really big win for us and for her. But it all had to do with building that confidence slowly. So by building up the positive association to the thing that is stressful, so in my case, it was the car. And when I worked many moons ago too at a boutique salon in Toronto, I had a client who went from coming twice a year with their Shih Tzu to coming every four weeks. And this Shih Tzu was actually quite aggressive and that was only because she was afraid. She would bite me, bite the scissors, but she was just afraid of the whole process. Because think of it this way, if a dog only goes to a groomer twice a year for let's say 10 years to make my life easy for math, that's about 20 times in its entire life that it's had this happen to, to the dog, so the whole process. Whereas once a month for 10 years is 120 times that they have gone through the experience. And that is a huge difference. And this is going to become obviously, as I mentioned, a normal event for them. And they will know exactly what to expect. So the same is true for shedding. Dogs who experience anxiety triggers more more frequently in a positive manner are going to slowly release less of those stress hormones that trigger the shedding reaction thus in turn reduces the shedding but if one of your dog's biggest triggers is getting their nails trimmed I can help you with some fabulous conditioning exercises that you can do at home and they are super easy and fast. Check out that video right here where I tackle nail trimming stress and end up with less fur on your clothes during the process.